All right, welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man, back in the studio, and today we're going to take a look at the new pre speed paint pre-order uh, from the Army Painter, as well as their new layout for the website. Just do a quick little look at this video they released, and also take a look at the release dates and pricing for the speed paints as well. So, uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe for anything from Warhammer Forty Thousand, Kill Team, Necromunda. Age of Sigmar, Warcry content. I do all kinds of customizations, painting tutorials, conversions, magnetizations, lighting, basically anything from reactions, reviews, to uh, just hobby content in general. So uh, let's take a look at the Army Painter little video they put out, and then we'll take a look at the website as well. Um, and just a spoiler, the website is exponentially better. It was very much outdated and difficult to navigate. Uh, looked like it was very old and clunky, and it is much, much better now. So let's take a look at their video, and then we'll jump in and talk about the uh, stats and everything. Essentially, just kind of show through, show off a couple of pages on the site, and you know, just the overall look of it and whatnot. Uh, they have like their little goblin if you need any help navigating the site or have any questions or anything. But let's take a look at the actual information. Uh, obviously, it looks good, but they didn't disclose much in this video. So, if you had not previously been to the site, uh, it was a little bit rough, and there was like big bits on the side here where there was a bunch of different like products featured and everything so it made all the images and everything like that extremely small and just difficult to find what you were looking for the site was clunky it looked old and outdated uh, it is much better now uh, if you're not familiar with the site it is thearmypainter.com or shop.thearmypainter.com and they have obviously a geo location so you just select where you're at obviously i'm here in the united states I'm not going to go through the whole site. You can go check it out for yourself. They have all kinds of cool stuff on there. Everything from videos and tutorials to the actual store and products and whatnot. All kinds of bundles. Uh, lots of cool stuff. So uh, I was actually surprised because I had heard about Army Painter but not really purchased much from them in the past. Matter of fact, the only products I've ever used from Army Painter are the bottles, like the empty bottles I purchased for all my Citadel paints and also the shaker balls, like the mixing balls. So I've never actually used any of their products, which is why I'm extra excited about the speed paints. Uh, anyone that has followed the channel for any amount of time knows that I am a commission-based painter. I do massive amounts of commissions, and I use tons and tons of contrast paints, and I absolutely love them. So while it will be difficult for anything to be better than the contrast paints, some of them are really not that good. So there's a couple of them that will easily be dethroned, but if the majority of these are even close to the quality, uh, the price alone sets them apart. So here we can see the two bundles that we knew were coming. The Speed Paint Mega Set, which is $99, and the Speed Paint Starter Set, which is $45. More importantly, though, what we see here is, I'll have to say a little bit disappointing. Uh, what I see is the release date on the Speed Paint Starter Set is February 19th. So not too far out, a little over a month out on the Speed Paint Starter Set. Which is what we were expecting. I expected February. That's what I had heard from my supplier. So no surprise there. Unfortunately, we see for the Speed Paint Mega Set that the release date is March 26th. So it's over five weeks later. Another month later after that. So it is it is a little over double the price. And it's a little over double the paints. But the problem is, is if you cannot wait and want to get the Speed Paint Starter Set now. Then you end up with a bunch of duplicate paints. And there are at least a couple of the paints in the starter set that you're just not going to use up probably ever in my opinion as a commission painter I know which paints you use often which ones you use up and how long a paint actually lasts for and the truth is most people never going to use up a paint they're probably going to either spill it or it's going to dry out or they'll have it for 20 years but uh, well let's just take a look we'll take a look so we'll look at the speed paint starter set first 
Uh, so this is the 10 paint starter set that we discussed. Uh, so we'll go through the exact paints you get with it and just kind of take a look at what they have to say about it. So we know obviously $45 US. The release date is February 19th, 2022. There are 10 paints in the set. So that is $4.50 USD per paint. So it's safe to assume that if you buy these paints individually, they're probably going to be priced somewhere around $5 to $5.50 because you typically will get around a 10% or so discount by buying the starter set. Uh, so while it is good to get the discount and you do receive the brush and you know a small savings, you have to also think about would you have bought all 10 of these paints separately because a lot of times people don't take that into account. So. Uh, so these are preloaded with the mixing balls. They come in the dropper bottles already. And they are obviously their version of the contrast paints. I'm not going to go through and watch the video as we have already watched them before. Uh, each one does have two of the mixing balls in it. Uh, let's look at the things that they have to show here. So basically just kind of showing off the set. So here we have the 10 speed paints with the free brush. So the brush is nice. The brushes that come in these sets are always decent brushes. Uh, what do you value those at? Well, you know, if you went and bought the brush by itself, maybe it's two or five or ten dollars. But typically, I have found after using thousands of brushes, everything from penny synthetic brushes from China to super expensive real hair brushes from the best companies, that the truth is, you probably don't want really nice brushes and if you do you probably only want like one or two of them and it's not going to be just your regular like starting brush and most likely you're not going to be using them for contrast or speed paints so there's not a lot of value that can be assigned to the brush but if we want to say it's worth a couple of bucks or whatever it's nice that it's included in there so uh, so for the colors we have pallid bone that's going to do like our bone colored items and stuff like that the zealot yellow uh, which is a nice looking yellow overall from what we've seen Fire Giant Orange, the Blood Red, which is the one shown on this demon here, which looks pretty good. The Hive Dweller Purple, uh, again, it's a nice color to have, good for like cloaks and stuff like that. Probably not an ideal color for a starter set, to tell you the truth. We have the High Lord Blue next, Orc Skin, we have Hardened Leather, and then Crusader Skin, which is like a flesh color, and then finally we have the Grave Lord Gray. And as it says here, uh, you get two of the mixing balls preloaded in every 18 milliliter bottle. So the bottles are slightly bigger than the contrast paints. No, they're not. They're actually the same size. So the contrast paints are basically the same size. These do come in the shaker bottles, which again, I'm not sure is an actual advantage over the regular pots. Uh, normally, I do like the squeeze bottles. But uh, in this case, I do use the contrast paints straight out of Games Workshop pots. They're the only ones I haven't converted over. Uh, they're really nice because you can paint straight out of the bottle. You don't need to water them down. You don't need to mess with them. Uh, so they also don't dry around the rim in the same way. So all the drawbacks that they have normally, Games Workshop paints, not being in a squeeze bottle, they don't have with the contrast paints. So I don't really consider that to be a bonus. Although if you're using a palette or just a little bit of plastic or whatever, it's not a big deal. Uh, unfortunately, you will squeeze out more paint than you need often uh, as it is difficult to know exactly how much of the paint you're going to use. So the bottles, while nice, are not a necessity in this case and could be considered a drawback. Uh, you do get two of the little BBs, the shaking beads or mixing beads already preloaded in them. I think I bought like a hundred of these for six dollars so it's not like a huge savings or anything like that but it is nice that they come already in there and I do often put two in my contrast paints because it's necessary to shake them up so uh, so overall the value we're getting 10 paints loaded up with the beads already which if you didn't have them and you needed to just buy them they come in like sets of 50 or 100 so you're going to be paying like six bucks right off the bat for them you'll just have a ton of extras and then of course a brush as well but again, not going to be your best brush or anything. But if you didn't have one to begin with, uh, it's nice to just have everything included in this set. So we can see a couple examples of them. They look great so far from what I've seen. Uh, overall, nice. Don't have to worry about them drying out. You can control the dosage. No more spilling. Uh, and the twist cap to keep them fresh. Bunch of good like selling points. 
Uh, again, I'm mixed on a couple things. Show a couple of like uh, different ways you can put them over top of different primers, uh, which is nice. I have used tons and tons of contrast paints over different color primers, as well as Zenithal priming, and they work phenomenally well. I think these will do equally as well. So when it's all said and done, this is a really nice set. Definitely looks like it is going to be a hit. Uh, we know that it is coming out on February 19th, and it comes with these 10 paints right here. Uh, if you didn't watch my previous video, my main problem with this set is a couple of the paints that are included are unnecessary, in my opinion, and I would rather have different ones. I would much rather have... You, you obviously can use primary colors to mix and create your secondary colors that you need. So, honestly, with a yellow and a red... I don't think you need an orange. We don't use orange that much in painting for just about anything but maybe like a dwarf army or something like that. So it would be very easy to just mix yellow and red to create orange. Also, we're not going to use purple very often. Uh, it is nice for like cloaks and, you know, royalty type stuff, but it is not a common color that most people are going to use, let alone use up. Uh, and also, of course, you can mix red and blue to create purple. So I would much rather see, instead of the orange, instead of the purple, I would much rather see a white and a black. White and black are two of the most common colors to paint. They are two very difficult colors to paint, especially for, you know, newer or inexperienced painters. Even for a lot of veteran painters, white and black can be the bane of their existence. So I would much rather have seen those two colors. And then also, potentially, if we were going to do the black and the white, I would rather see the uh, medium as well. So even if we had to get rid of the gray and get the medium, and then you could just thin your black basically into a gray, you would have a so much more versatile set. Because instead of having purple and orange, you would have white and black. Instead of having gray, you'd have the medium. So you could still create your purple and orange. You would have also white and black. And then you could use the medium to thin any of your paints to get varying layers of uh, like depth with the color and then also you could recreate your gray with your black so that's what i would have done differently uh, if army painter came to me and said hey as a commission painter as someone who uses products on the regular as someone who understands the customer and what they want what would you do differently what would you want to see in the set what would you change right now if you could that's what i would change if we assume these are five dollars a paint and you were going to pay 50 bucks if you just bought 10 of them by your own you're basically buying nine so as long as you would buy nine of these paints already on their own, you basically get the tenth paint for free, assuming they're five dollars a piece. If they're five fifty a piece, you're basically getting like two of them for free. And then obviously the brush is like just an add-on bonus in my opinion. You know, nice little set. If these come out and they're five bucks a piece though, should you just rush out and buy this set for forty-five bucks to save five bucks? It's arguable, because to tell you the truth, I would almost rather just not have the orange the purple and the gray and then just buy the exact ones I need so I would buy the black the white and the medium but again that's just my opinion uh, and also I'm gonna buy the entire set and uh, you know I know I'll be replacing some of them much much faster than others some of them I will probably still have years later and never use up uh, in the same way that I have with the contrast paints as well so uh, but let's take a look at the bigger set now overall I got to give this a I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 on composition because of the things I discussed. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 on value because I wouldn't expect it to be any cheaper than this. I expected it to be between $40 and $50, and I think you get a nice little savings on it. And then when you compare it to the competition, which is the contrast paints, they don't even have a starter bundle. And if you were to just go out and buy 10 of them, you'd be looking at closer to like $80 USD. So in my opinion... A great deal. It's basically half the price of what you would buy 10 contrast paints for. So amazing set. Uh, overall, great value, but the composition is slightly lacking. And again, that's me nitpicking. Uh, so now we have our Speed Paint Mega Set, which is $99. So this will not be available till March 26th, uh, which is very disappointing as anyone that is going to wait for this will now be without the contrast paints for an extra month or so. I'm not sure if that was a marketing thing. I don't know if it's just because they weren't already at the same time. Uh, it is strange that they would not release the whole set all at once. Um, it is probably smart from a marketing perspective because I'm sure a lot of people will probably buy the starter set 
and then turn around and buy this set as well. So it probably will be good for sales. So arguably it could be a marketing technique, could just be random, maybe something wasn't ready, there's lots of production issues, etc. So, uh, But let's talk about the set. So it's an all-in-one war paint. Speed paint is truly a one-coat painting solution. Simply apply one rich coat of speed paint directly over a primed miniature and you are done. The speed paint will leave the part of the model with both intense shading, vibrant color, and highlight effects in one application. And if you're not familiar with these, that is the benefit of them and contrast paints is you can basically put one nice thick coat on them and you essentially get a base coat, a wash, and a highlight all with the effect of a single coat. Uh, and the majority of these paints, I haven't used these ones specifically, but like the contrast paints work phenomenally well. They also, you know, take into account like gravity and then when you put into account also, you know, they sink down into the cracks obviously, but when you take into account like Zenithal highlighting where you know, you're priming the model in a particular way so it's brighter where like natural light would be hitting it. When you use the contrast paints with that, it creates like a double dose effect. So essentially you have like a black, a gray, and a white for the primer. And then you have the contrast paint, which has essentially a base color, a wash, and then also a highlight. So you turn what was a, you know, essentially like three different effects from just the contrast paint into basically nine effects because you have all three of those effects over top of all three of the different varying primers. So you now have like nine varying shades of any given color, which increases the depth exponentially of your model with just a simple step in the beginning. So uh, so we did take a look at this already and we know that you're gonna get one uh, median with this and then it is a, what did we say, 23 total colors. So we'll go through the uh, colors and take a look. So again, March 26th, $99 for the set. So here's the list of the 24 speed paints. Again, you get the free brush with it. Uh, one of the 24 is the median. And then we have Slaughter Red and Blood Red. Obviously, the Blood Red is included in the starter set. We have Purple Alchemy and Hive Dweller Purple. Uh, obviously, the Purple is included in the starter set. Crusader Skin, which comes in it. Then we have Dark Wood. Fire Giant Orange, which again is in the starter. Zealot Yellow in the starter, Sand Golem, Hardened Leather, which comes with the starter set, and then we have the Pallid Bone, once again, with the starter, Malignant Green, Camo Cloak, Magic Blue, High Lord Blue, in the starter, Plasmatic Bolt, Runic Gray, Grim Black, Gravelord Gray, in the starter, Cloudburst Blue, Orc Skin is the final one that you get in the little starter set. And then Holy White, again the Median, and Absolution Green. So total with this one, you get 23 paints and the Median. So you're going to get 13 additional paints. Uh, so if you did buy the starter and this, you would obviously have about 50% duplicates. Um, many of the colors you would probably use up over time depending how much you paint, but it's probably not an ideal situation for most people. So for $99 for 24 paints, you are basically paying just over $4 for, for each paint in this set, including the median. As were with the other set, you were paying $4.50. So you're saving a little more over the other set and even more over what we presume is the retail value. So I do really like this set. Anyone that is confident, they're going to like the speed paints, enjoy them, or is ready to commit, I highly recommend this set. I think this will be an absolute winner, and I will definitely be picking this up myself. I'm very excited to use it. Um, unfortunately, I don't like the delayed re release date, obviously, uh, and I may go ahead and just pick up the starter set as well, uh, just so that I can take a look at it in the first month and a half before this one comes out. Uh, use it and give you guys my honest opinion that way you will know right away from me a straight up you know truthful person that's going to give you an honest review of this product is it worth waiting and buying the big set should you go ahead and just jump on the small set and then add in a couple of the other paints later uh, the truth is with the contrast paint set I have all of them there are 34 colors and each one of them is around eight dollars a paint so it is a substantially larger investment uh, at $8 a piece with 34 colors, it was closer to like $250 for that set, somewhere around there. This one is 100 so it's less than half the price. It does have 
less paints, but it has every paint I think that you would need. Uh, we'll have to see once it comes out. There doesn't appear to be a really like bright, vibrant green or a really bright, vibrant blue, which are two of my favorite contrast paints. Uh, we'll see. It's tough to tell from these pictures, but I don't think that we're going to get like that same like Talisar blue or like that uh, like Tesseract green or um, there was an, uh, another really bright green. Arguably, either one of those is great. Overall, does a normal person need, you know, two reds? two yellows, two browns, four greens, and three blues, grays? Um, probably not. I think for most people, truth be told, depending on how much the individual paints are, for a hundred bucks, it's worth picking up the entire set. But I think for most people, if you went through and just picked out the 10 paints that you're most likely to use, probably the ones that I listed off, you'll probably have every paint you'll ever need. The, the truth be told. I think if you went through and just picked up the 10 that I said or picked up the starter, depending on the prices, and then just added in the median, the black, and the white, you probably will have all the paints you ever need. Um, now, arguably, if you did that and spent the 45 and then you spent another 10 on the other, uh, maybe another 15 on the other three paints, you'd be at 60 bucks. And then at that point in time, it's like, well, should I just spend 40 and have the full set? A lot of people probably would just do that. Uh, could go either way. That's all subjective. It's up to you. Uh, but overall, I think it's a great set. I think it's a great deal. Uh, I'm really looking forward to using these. And if they even can fill the gap on a couple of the contrast paints that are just subpar, because the majority of the Games Workshop Citadel contrast paints are phenomenal. But there are a couple that are just not good. They're just far inferior to the overall line. So if I can just replace those couple with a paint that's at least as good, let alone have something like, from what I see of this blood red, it looks like it is better than anything in the contrast paint line. And there's maybe one or two other ones like that as well. But if we can even have close competition for much lower price or even just different options, uh, I'm really liking this. And I think it's going to onboard a lot of new people to the hobby, to painting, and the overall quality that you get with these for the amount of time you put in is just exponentially amazing because you save so much time and you get so much better of an effect. And if you just learn some basic Zenithal highlighting as well, it's going to take your painting to the next level, save you a ton of time, and in the end, increase the hobby exponentially because it's so much better when you just have painted models on the field. It's better when you do, it's better when your opponent does, and honestly, it just creates more excitement for the hobby when people see you playing it when you're playing it with your buddies, it's just so much more amazing and better for the overall immersion of the game. So uh, overall, really liking this. Um, I would have to say in summary, a little disappointed that there's going to be a delay between the two sets. I would have to say that the composition of both sets is very good. I think the starter set is excellent, but with those minor changes would be better. Uh, but again, that's my opinion. Uh, obviously, not every product is just going to be perfect, uh, nor are their goals in line with mine as well. But I think for the majority of people, probably the little starter set with white, black, and medium is going to be everything they need. Uh, I personally like to have multiple browns, multiple greens, multiple blues. Multiple reds is kind of like meh. Multiple grays is nice. So I think it's nice. Multiple yellows, eh, could go either way. Multiple purples is, I mean, I guess one is kind of like a pink, but seems just out there. I would much rather see, like I talked about in the initial set, uh, in the initial video, I would much rather see multiple skin tones. As for me, that's huge. I love having different skin tones in the contrast paints, and especially for like, uh, you know, fantasy bot battle miniatures or Sigmar, Warcry, whatever, D&D. Uh, where they have a lot more exposed flesh, uh, it's nice to have all the different flesh tones, and it looks much more natural if you have varying skin tones throughout your model. So, uh, But there we have it. Just a little review of the release date, the overall composition, what they have to offer, uh, the value in these sets, and my honest opinion uh, prior to getting these in my hands and getting to use them. Uh, again, I will probably pick up the starter set and then go ahead and try that out and use it in the meantime while I'm waiting the extra month. I don't think most people will probably do that. I think for most people, they'll either just buy the starter set and then add what they need 
or they will just wait for the big set if that's what they're going to get. But uh, I'm excited to get my hands on these. So uh, I will let you know. I will make sure to give you guys the honest update and create some content the moment I get these in my hand. Uh, unfortunately, I was a little late to the party to secure some of these from the Army Painter, unfortunately. But I have been in contact with them. So hopefully in the future, we'll be able to do some sort of collaborations. Uh, but that is it for today. I am Warhammer Man. This is Warhammer Man Studios. Hopefully you enjoyed our little uh, review of the website of the contrast paint line and the release dates coming up, the prices on these sets. And uh, I do encourage you to come over to the Army Painter and take a look at the new updated website. Uh, it is really nice, much more up to date and flowing through. They have everything from like painting tutorials to actual products and a bunch of great stuff that I didn't even know was sold by anyone, let alone by them. So uh, but there you have it, guys. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. Make sure you like and subscribe. Appreciate all the positivity in the comment section and uh, all the views, the new viewers. And uh, just so you know, I am nearly finished with a very large commission, getting ready to debut it. And uh, as you guys know, when I finish up commissions, I always show them off on the channel. And then you can go back through and see all the videos explaining how I made the bases, how I do the custom paint jobs or cool effects on them as well. You can go back through and see the countless commissions I have finished in the past. And if you ever have any questions about like the magnetizations, the color juice, anything like that, it is almost always displayed in the description down below. Or you can just ask me. I'm very engaged with my community and I uh, pretty much respond to every comment. So uh, if you have a question, comment, anything like that, likelihood is you will get actual engagement from me. So keep your negativity to yourself, bring that positivity and make it rain. And together we can further the hobby and hopefully we'll be doing it with some of these Army Painter Speed Paints. Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man and I'm out of here.